This video is about a fairly advanced technique that you can use to extend your max chain size and build bigger chains a bit more consistently. And it can also help you attack and defend in the mid game. So let's say you've got this great chain set up like this, and it works perfectly, and it clears everything and it's an all clear, but it's only a 10 chain. Well, there's not much opportunity to extend this chain unless you can make a second transition, right? Actually, there's a special technique you can use that can make your chain a lot bigger without even having to build a second transition. Meet the Taju. In English, it would probably translate to something like multicolor or multicolor transition. So, we've added a lot of different colors on top of the transition. And now all of a sudden we have a 13 chain, and we didn't even need to make a second transition. That's the power of the Taju or multicolor transition. For a very simple example, here's one. So with no multicolor transition, you put the yellows, and then you clear the green, and then you put a different color, and then you clear it to in between the yellows, and a different color in between that. For just a little bit of multicolor transition, instead of clearing the yellows and then the greens, we now put a color in between that too. So we clear the green, these greens, and then the yellows, and then the green later. And that little bit of multicolor has just added one to this chain. So you didn't need anything else to be different. This whole part is the same. The tail is the same. You can build the rest of your chain exactly the same, but adding in this little bit of multicolor transition just added one into your chain size. And if you take it to the extreme, you could add in like three or four to your chain size. So let's go through some more simple examples. Here's a pretty extreme example of a repeating concept. And this is one way to make a multicolor transition. Now, one way that multicolor transitions vary is in the height of the starter. So, here the starting green is pretty high. For a, a, an extreme example of a low starting multicolor transition, here the starter is at the very bottom. And it's got a lot of multi, multiple colors on top of the transition. So, um, if you've got a really high starter, it's very good for when you've got a really high tail. So if you've got a really tall tail like this, and it works really hell, it works really well, but it's very high. One of the best things you can do is create a high multicolor transition to go with it because now you could even extend pretty easily because the tail is even with your starter. On the other hand, if you didn't have a good tail or you weren't building a tail or your form wouldn't let you build a tail, something like that. It's very nice to have a low starting multicolor transition because now it's even and you can extend like this or something. So I'm going to go over some very simple single or multicolor transitions with just two extra colors or two colors and then the transition. So here you would start with the blues. Now a normal chain with no multicolor transition would probably be something like this. You start the blues and then the greens immediately. But by adding the yellows in between, you now have a multicolor transition and you've added one to the length of the chain. And you can generally build the rest of your chain in exactly the same way. You've just added one to your chain in the transition area, though. Here's another multicolor transition you can use that's very simple. 
So instead of going with yellow and then green, you put a different color in between. It can even be greens again. And then start there. It doesn't have to be greens. It could be blues like in this example. But again, the idea is creating a multicolor transition to make a stronger chain. And one more example. This starts with the yellows, and then the blues get cleared before clearing the green. Now for a complex example, here's an example of a complex multicolor transition. And if you're really good with it, you can also shift it and adjust and make changes. So this next one is the exact same shape everywhere, but now we've, we're starting with the greens and we've added the blues into the multicolor transition. So we're not doing yellow green, we're not doing red yellow green, we're not doing green, red, yellow, green. We're doing like green, red, blue, green, yellow, green. So it gets pretty complex, but all that extra colors gives you extra power in your chain. There's also a form called universe. That's another way to do a multicolor transition. So I've actually been using this myself, and it's really helping me to make bigger chains more consistently. So I think it is a very useful thing to learn and practice. One thing you can do is just say you're going to force a multicolor transition in somehow. So you're not going to do the thing where you just put one color and then the, the color for the transition on top. You're going to find some way to force a single multicolor transition or even more than that. So if you can force in more than that, then it's just going to make your chain stronger. So something like this. Each extra color you add in is going to add one to your chain length. Now. Something I mentioned in the opening was that it can help with your mid-game and attacking and defending. And that's because you can combine it with the idea of leaving off a key Puyo. So it makes it easier to build a good counter chain. And here I've taken off the green that's important to connect to the transition. When I leave it off, I only have a 4 chain. But... That's great for countering like a two double, so as long as I don't place a green here, I've got a good counter chain to an attack the opponent might send. And then I can build up on the right side and build a bigger counter chain. And as long as I don't place the green, the key Puyo, I've still got my counter available. And I could even leave off more colors if I'm not getting those colors and have a different size counter chain. Now you have to be pretty good to use this because you have to remember all the colors you need. So like, you have to remember, oh, I need a yellow and then a green, and then I can start my chain. And if you forget, you're gonna start your chain and the key color won't be there and it's gonna stop short. So it's pretty tough to get to the level where you can just remember, oh yeah, I need these colors if I want to start my main chain. But if you can do it, it gives you a bunch of options where you don't have to commit to your main chain. You can wait, and if you see you really need your main chain because the opponent's sending like a six chain, it's very easy to just put the single color and then start. Now, if you're looking for examples of Taju or multicolor transitions, Shivakazu does it to the extreme, so he's a great player at building huge chains, and one thing he uses really well is this idea of multicolor transitions. So this isn't like 
red and then yellow. It's not red, then green, then yellow. It's not red, yellow, green, red, green, yellow, green. Uh, I'll just let the chain play out. <laughs> So this multicolor transition has so many colors in it. So it's green, and then red, and then yellow, and then green, and then red, and then the transition yellow. It's so many different colors in between. So it makes the chain that much more powerful, and in addition to the great tell and the great form in general, that lets them get an 18 chain in this example. The opponent tried to do yellow, and then blue, and then yellow, but they forgot the last blues. <laughs> but you can see, multicolor transitions can really help when you're trying to make the really big chains. It can also help when you've got, like, a really tall tail, and you need to extend somewhere else. You can have a high starting multicolor transition for that, or it can help when you don't have a tell, you can have a low starting multicolor transition, and then you can extend that way. So it's an idea I definitely recommend trying out. And that's the end of this video.